Okay, 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 okay. Let's do it, right? Ah, I'm ready. What's up, people? It is your good friend Chad Marco here again, and you know I just got to talk about the latest episodes of Dragon Ball Super. I've been a little behind lately, but I'm caught up, and man, I've been enjoying my fucking self. So let's get right into it. Today, we're going to talk about episode 123 of Dragon Ball Super. Um, the gist of it is, this is Goku versus Jiren uh round two or three i don't know how many times jiren has wiped the fucking floor with goku but he's gonna try again and uh yeah so let's get right into it man right from the get-go you see vegeta still on the ground looking like yamcha your boy got knocked out cold he just <laughs> he can barely move um bro sleep <laughs> straight up just sleep um <laughs> And Jiren said the most badass thing. He said, uh, sleep, war <laughs> or like warrior sleep. And then uh, Zeno copied him. That was so fucking cute. You know, for a, a genocidal, uh, mad uh, god of everything, uh, Zeno is so goddamn kawaii. I love them. Um, you almost forget that they can just poof and make everybody disappear. I mean, even the angels and Jiren, I mean, damn, but I love just, I love the little fun, the little funny things that they do. Uh, but moving on, um, like I said, this is the Goku versus Jiren episode, but not only that, um, Dispo is fighting Frieza and he's giving him quite the run for his money but it doesn't seem like any of his attacks are really doing any damage it's not having an effect on frieza what i think is that while dispo has the superior speed frieza is he's fucking demonic he's <laughs> frieza's a damn demon like no matter how fast you are it doesn't matter uh frieza he's 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 been through the gauntlet with goku more than once uh, those little baby punches and shit, those little rabbit punches that this boy is not gonna affect him, no matter how fucking fast he is. Um, which is kind of disappointing because, like, like I said, I like Dispo. I want to see him uh, be successful as a fighter, but being fast against Frieza just isn't enough. You can run away, but I don't think he'll ever really have the strength to take Frieza down. Um, meanwhile. Topo is fighting Gohan and 17 who are still working together to take down this damn juggernaut. I mean, damn, they're having a hard time. Even together, they really can't win. So they come up with this plan that um, 17 is going to take him on directly. And then Gohan is going to come in for the assist. What 17 does is... Um, he allows himself to get caught by Topo and then he raises his energy field. Um, this traps Topo and then that allows Gohan to hit them both with just this big ass Kamehameha um, in an attempt to just, I guess, knock them both out of the arena at the same time. Eliminating 17, but also eliminating Topo, who's a very dangerous threat. But... Um, 17 couldn't hold your boy down i think topo like get give him a quick jab to the back and he said fuck this i gotta <laughs> i gotta let it go <laughs> like damn um but yeah that shit fails but it was a, it was a cool plan um i like that they're using strategy here it's like even from the get-go they said like this wouldn't just be about you know brute strength like there would be you would have to have you know a strategy to win some of these fights but um it was it was a cool plan but it didn't work um so back to goku and his fight with jiren now he has formulated a plan of his own um so he's kind of dashing in and dashing out dashing around you know just kind of fighting jiren kind of poking at him and then backing off and it's like, what the hell is he doing? The entire time he's dropping little energy, like little energy mines in the ground around Jaren. So he's just, he's using instant transmission to kind of get in and get out and drop a bomb here, drop a bomb there. 
Um, but that shit ain't work. <laughs> it, it didn't work. Um, Jiren is stepping on them and they're blowing up all around them and it doesn't do any damage it seems but uh that was I've never seen Goku do anything like that one of the things I don't like about Goku is that his moveset has always been so limited I mean early on he got the Kamehameha then like the then um Kyle Ken spirit bomb instant transmission but other than that he 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 doesn't really have a very big move list um he just pretty much fights and then you know goes into the kamehameha so i like that they thought of giving him this news i guess you i guess you could call it a new attack it would be interesting to see this in like a video game or something um energy mines um it's a cool plan, but it, it didn't work <laughs> at all. Um, Jaren basically just jumps into the air, and then um, Goku does... Um, he throws out some Destructo disc, and <laughs> Jaren broke them motherfuckers like dinner plates. Like, <laughs> he was just smashing those damn discs like it was nothing. Um, so, they end up fighting on the edge of the arena um and they're really going at it um i really like uh man like i just i i know i know i've said this before but i'm really appreciating the animation and the fights at this point i mean they've really stepped it up big time i mean even though they're still so <laughs> you gotta have that I mean, it is cool. I think people have forgot. I think they've overused the ta 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 spam so much that people forgot how cool it really is. Um, but I feel like now they're really making the fights a lot more complex. I mean, with the mines and the destructo disc and the fight on the edge, that nice sweep that Goku does. I mean, damn. Um, but yeah, Goku isn't just doing all this for nothing, though. If you remember back when um, Goku fought Krillin, when he was kind of testing to see if he would be ready um, for a tournament of this scale, and Krillin used his Destructo Disc in a very creative way. He sent out multiple Destructo Discs and kind of left one out to use later to cut out the bottom of the arena to make Goku fall. And I think Goku took a note from that fight because he used the exact same strategy against Jiren. The Destructo Disc that he threw out earlier, um, I guess he made sure that one of them didn't go directly towards Jiren's and be destroyed. And he managed to use it later to cut the little pillar that they were fighting on. And that made Jiren fall with the pillar. And that, I mean, I gotta say, like, that was a cool, like, that was probably one of the coolest strategies you, I mean, it, it was cool when fucking Krillin did it. I mean, damn, I guess that was a way to kind of give Krillin some props. And he, since he really didn't put, he really didn't put in too much work in this tournament. He was the first one eliminated, which really disappointed me. But to see his strategy get utilized later on by Goku was really cool. And I like how Goku just kicks the fuck out of Jiren <laughs> right when he's about to fall with that pillar. I mean, man, that was just awesome. Um, but yet again, the plan does not work. <laughs> Jiren basically just you know because the pillar is falling in pieces he just jumps from piece to piece to make his way back up but really it looks like he kind of flew a little bit i ain't gonna lie they might want to check the tape make sure this motherfucker did not fly um but it seems like even goku knew that it wasn't gonna work um because he goes back to kind of um talk to talk to uh vegeta who's recovering now and um they both know oh that's not gonna work <laughs> it, it was a cute plan but it's not gonna work and then you see jiren just bulldozing his way through the traps like it ain't nothing just boom 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 and at this point i think it's safe to say that he's pissed you know 
I think that I think he realized like that was pretty fucking close, even for him. If it wasn't for the debris, then he might have just fallen the fuck off. I mean, what if Goku um cut the pillar, kicked him down, and then unleashed a Kamehameha, which wouldn't have affected him much, but it would have destroyed the little rocks that allowed Jiren to make his way back up. I mean, that was fucking close, dude. That was real. So I can understand Jiren is pissed now. You see him with the red aura, like, I'm about to, ooh. <laughs> hey, so yeah, it's, yeah, Jiren is, um, Jiren is pissed. I mean, those traps seem like flypaper to him, I'm sure. Um, he's really serious at this point. Um, he just starts beating the hell out of Goku. <laughs> I mean, really just beating the hell out of him. It was, uh, oh boy. I'm looking at it right now and, <laughs> and I'm just like, damn. <laughs> and his, and, and Jiren's aura is just humongous. It, just, it goes all the way up into the air and shit. It's wild. Um, but you know, Goku ain't no bitch. I'm gonna tell you right, like Jiren powered up and Goku was like, let's go. I gotta give it to Goku, man. Like he was he was game. He was game for this fight from day one. Um, even though Jiren is it, it looks like he's getting serious, Goku like, whatever, let's go. And they have a little, you know, they have a little spat, have a little battle and shit. But uh <laughs> what can I say? Uh you know, Goku for all his for all his bravery and bravado. You just he just cannot stand up to Jiren. Jiren does this punch that like and this is from far away. He does a punch from far away and just the force of it goes past Goku and it lifts you see it like lift up his cheek like <laughs> and it didn't even touch him but it lift up his cheek and it broke like rocks behind him and I think that was really Jiren showing like the full force of his power for the first time. I mean, it was so, it was so intimidating that Goku like went back to base form. Like he went out of Super Saiyan Blue. Like he was shocked. He couldn't believe the force of that punch. And um, two words, as beating <laughs> Jiren doesn't even have to get in his face anymore he just does like those force punches in rapid succession and just beats the hell out of Goku while he's in base form I mean I can imagine ribs broke arms shattered skin like <laughs> damn Goku is really getting put through the gauntlet right now he's getting his ass whooped um but we all know, we all know our boy Goku never, ever, ever backs. That. Now, at this point, you see Goku just kind of like, he looks like he's either about to get mad and turn up or he's about to fall and hit the floor. But no, like he stands his ground and it's like, okay, you're strong, but I've fought plenty of strong people before. And then, oh boy, Vegeta fanboys rejoice. You see Vegeta come in and it's like, yeah, motherfucker, we done been here before. <laughs> and you got to think about it, man. Like, this isn't the first time they face impossible odds. I mean, Freeza, Cell, Boo. They've been here before and they've overcome every single time. So that's why I really like this moment because it's just like, it's like a remind. I think everybody's kind of just dick riding Jiren so hard. Like he's so strong. Like he do whoa, whoa, nigga. This is nothing new. I mean, Frieza way back in the day had the same kind of aura and intimidation factor. I mean, it seemed like he would be impossible to defeat. And look what happened to his ass. Cut up in the little pieces on Namek and shit. So. Goku and Vegeta, they stand side by side and they power up. They take it to the max and your boy Vegeta gets a new transformation. Not really new, but it seems like it's uh, like an ascended version of Super Saiyan Blue. 
some people were like speculating like what is like what is this form because it looks very similar to regular super saiyan blue but it doesn't have like the the yellow um aura in it and it, it looks like it's a darker blue and looks it looks like more of a crystal <laughs> blue i'm still here trying to describe a color of blue <laughs> god uh but yeah what i thought it could possibly be is perfected super saiyan blue now make correct me if i'm wrong but i've heard um that in the manga version of dragon ball super that goku or vegeta like managed to create something called perfected super saiyan blue but i'm i haven't heard any mention of that in the anime so maybe that's what vegeta uh, has uh, has unlocked uh perfected super saiyan blue some people speculate that this is just a precursor to to him um um unlocking his own ultra instinct but who knows all i know is it looks fucking awesome <laughs> i mean damn i mean i just I, come on man transformations are always hype so um vegeta goes beyond blue and goku goes um kyle ken uh super saiyan god um at this point i don't really know who's stronger um at least well probably goku because he ha he has ultra instinct lying within him but just out of those two forms i want to which one is stronger uh hopefully vegeta <laughs> but yeah they go in they work together and they attack jiren um at the same time and it seems it seems like they're holding their own now in this fight i um while they were like punching at them together i kept hitting the pause button and i noticed that they were getting some hits in like jiren wasn't blocking every single one of those hits like they were they were landing some blows like i see, i seen him get tapped in the face one or two times so it does seem like this new this uh second win that they've managed to have is is somewhat effective um vegeta uh, vegeta does a final flash and i think uh goku does a, a kamehameha i mean they just look beautiful <laughs> they just look beautiful together just i love it i man <laughs> um but jiren in typical jiren fashion um uh, none, none of this is really affecting him like he looks like he's cool like not a scratch on him it just looks like he's um you know it just looks like they're in a better position to be able to go toe to toe with them and it's still kind of it's still kind of bleak because they got to do this together i mean they're fighting together in like these very powerful forms and they're still not able to really do any significant damage to jiren so that's basically the gist of the episode um but man vegeta got a new form um like i said i kind of knew that vegeta would have a moment like this but he had like like i said man for vegeta it had to get worse before it gets better the last episode where he got his ass beat, that was just his nest. <laughs> that was just the the uh, obligatory ass beating, because there's no way they're gonna they're gonna let him shine without getting the same amount of ass whooping that Goku got. So I kind of I figured th this would happen if Jiren didn't just beat him outright, and that would be it. I doubted that, but that was always a possibility. But yeah, I felt like yeah, Vegeta would either get a new form or he would just do something like an assist that would turn the tide of battle um but man i gotta say man i'm really proud of uh vegeta man and to me as a vegeta fan it's just so cool seeing him side by side with goku i mean so many so many fighters so many characters in this show were at one time a, a rival to goku um Yamcha at way I mean think that Yamcha was once upon a time Goku's rival and then ended up just going way <laughs> to the back of the bus I mean I don't think he's thrown a punch this whole series 
Krillin could even be considered somewhat of a rival of Goku's at um at one point when they were um when they were training with Master Roshi. Piccolo at one time, you know, rival of Goku, fought side by side with him many times with against Raditz, against Frieza, against Cell, um, TN. Um so many i mean gohan at one point was like the was almost looking like he was gonna replace goku and i I don't know like my whole point is is just that vegeta has managed to not only consistent like not only consistently be um a valuable part of the team even though he's taken a lot of losses and made a lot of mistakes along the way, he's also had, he's also contributed in, in like big ways that were really necessary to get the overall win. And it's just, it's cool to me just seeing him like more than ever, just side by side with Goku, like just showing like, you know, he's, he's like almost as important as Goku when it comes to, you know, getting the job done like it, it's like it, it's at the point now where it's feeling like without goku there is no vegeta or without vegeta there is no goku it's like it, it really seems like they're becoming one and that's just i don't know that's just amazing to me i always felt like vegeta would be kind of written off like um if you've seen dragon ball gt i mean vegeta and that was just I mean, yeah, towards the end, he got Super Saiyan 4 and, you know, fought side by side with Goku. But in the beginning, it was looking really bad for Vegeta. I mean, he got beat up by Gohan, taken over by Baby. Uh, In the Super 17 saga, he just got his ass whooped. And then it wasn't until the end that he was really able to kind of, you know, really have... really have any type of significance in his series but throughout super i mean he him and goku have just been inseparable and i love that i really like i feel just i don't know i could just rant about this all day man because i'm just such a i'm just such a vegeta fan but i can't believe that he is taking up such an important role in this show you know he's he's always been that it's like it's even more so now so i just really can't wait to see like what he does um in the remainder of this tournament um it was it was awesome it was an awesome episode yeah man i can't even this was a great fucking episode i can't i was trying to like downplay a little bit this was a great episode man um man i've overstayed my welcome so uh i'm gonna be out and uh i'll see you guys next time (laughs) great episode